One, two, three, four, five pins in the new Pondering Spooky Tapes pin set. Ah, ah, ah. Our new spooky scary pin set is out now. It includes Brendan, Mandy, Billy, 10, and PSD logo pins for $12. Check it out at pleasestopshopping.com. That's pleasestopshopping.com. And now, on to the scares. In the deepest and darkest of woods, where not even the light of the moon can penetrate, two vile creatures indulge in dark delights and have conquered their comrades into capitulation. Now they wander these lands watching scary cinema. There's a good chance you're next. Mandalore and Billy invite you to ponder some spooky tapes. <laughs> Welcome back to Pondering Spooky Tapes. Today on the menu, Trick or Treat. I was pissed my pants. Yeah, that works. Trick or Treat, a celebration of all things Halloween from director and writer Michael Doherty, who also did Krampus and Godzilla, uh, King of the Monsters. Was that the was that the blue poster? I can't. That was the blue poster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ooh. Blue Poster, and he, he also here. did Godzilla vs. King Kong. Writer of Superman Returns. He also did write Superman Returns, but he also did X-Men 2. So, you know, things things happen. It all balanced out. Yeah, Superman Returns almost fucking killed this movie, though, because it did so shit that, uh, is it Warner Brothers that owns this movie now? I have no yes. fucking clue. Either way, they hated that movie so bad that they were like, I'm not sure if we want to release your little niche anthology horror movie. Fucked up. I have the 360 game of Superman Returns right here. How good is that? Oof. Not Superman 64 levels of bad, but oof. Pretty stinky. Pretty stinky. Mm. What a shame. So this came out in 2007, right as slurs were making a big comeback because holy shit, I forgot this movie has three, maybe four. It only had three. I was keeping a tally. Put him up on the I counter. I was keeping a tally. King! Uh, yeah, starring Brian Cox, who is Logan. Mr. Logan in Succession, I think. I don't know. I've not. You guys seen Succession? I have never I seen Succession. I watched the first episode. Well, there's a guy called Logan in that, and he's Brian Cox, who plays Mr. Krieg in Trick or Treat. He's also an X-Man 2 as Striker. Also starring Anna Pake, who plays Rogue in all the X-Men movies. Dylan Baker, who is, he's the dad, Mr. Steve Wilkins in this movie, Trick or Treat. He also plays a doc, the, the, what's, what's the name of the doctor, the, Dr. Connors, the one that becomes a lizard? Yeah, that's Dr. Connors. Yeah, Dr. Connors in the original Spider-Man Raimi movies. And he also mm. is a character in Requiem for a Dream. I haven't seen that movie, so I don't know. Honestly, probably the most important star of the movie, Quinn Lord, this nine-year-old boy who plays like one of the best ha like entities of Halloween, Sam. Very, very cute kid. He was also in R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour and Once Upon a Time, which I've heard is a piece of shit, but what, uh, what can you do? You grow up, you go into crappy projects. What did you guys think of Trick or Treat? I know that Mandy and I are probably the ones that have seen it beforehand. I don't know if you other mm -hmm. guys have seen it before. I'd never I, seen I, it in its entirety. I think I had seen like bits and pieces throughout the years. I've seen clips, yeah. What'd you guys think? It's a really good anthology. I love it. Yeah. I like how uh, it manages to tie everything together so like neatly. It's very snug. Mm -hmm. That that's what that's how I see this movie though, right? It's so it's such a comfy movie. It is like my favorite. If you want to get into the Halloween season, you want to get into that that the spirit of Halloween. It's just perfect, man. You it, it it encapsulates everything. It's like dreamlike. It's weird to say because it's such a violent fucking movie, but it's really childlike as well. It's it's a fairy tale. Like every story is this fairy tale and the kids act like kids and it feels like one of those movies that's timeless despite the fact that it's clearly set in the 2000s, you know? It still feels very recent. It does, it does. Remembering it's from 2007 feels weird because it just feels so recent. Like, five years ago or something. Some scenes would have been edited, but... Oh, sure, but... But, like, if, if this came out nowadays, dude, I would not... 
like I wouldn't bat an eye. It's it's so timeless. It's such a great classic Halloween movie. Horror anthologies are always nice because if you don't like a skit, usually there's something else in there. But it is nice that in this they all loop and tie together because not many anthologies do that. No, I think like Southbound is a good one that does that, though that's also not obvious at the beginning. Yeah, the big ones, the big one that is like. Pulp Fiction anthology that I can think of apart from this one is Creepshow. Yeah. I don't think Twilight Zone goes into the no. DC Comics horror aesthetic. I obviously very biased and it, it, like you can tell just because of the like fuck man look at the show look at the assets for the show look at the art for Pondering Spooky Tapes. EC Comics are up my alley. I'm so biased about this movie. I I genuinely think it's a 10 out of 10. It's so good, dude. Yeah, it's a great Halloween movie. Everything about it is so perfect. Yeah, no, this was uh, based off of uh, Michael Doherty's student short animated film, 1996's Season's Greetings. That's where he created the character of uh, of little 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 Sam, who is named after Samhain because you know how Samhain is written like S A M A I N. Oh, yeah. That's Clever. where he got the name for Sam, who, when he made him, he, he like, he was talking about, oh, this is going to be the entity of Halloween. This little boy who is like mischievous, but eh, I was going to say, he's not a good person. Sam's a, he's little a little fuckhead guy. He's a little bit of a fuckhead. Don't follow Halloween rules. I would kick him. No, don't fucking kick Sam. I would punt Sam across don't. the fucking street into what an fuck? oncoming traffic, 100%. That wouldn't kill him. He's a, that, you, he, they tried. You say he that tried. He, got, he got shot in the face. Here's the thing. Like, okay, a bullet is just like a couple of grams of metal. I'm talking about 1,400 pounds of squealing horsepower hitting that kid <laughs> full fucking squealing. force. I'm talking about kicking him into the fucking highway and letting the semi truck take him. Man, what the fuck's your deal? Why are you, why are you such a I, fucking Halloween Scrooge? I am a Halloween Did, Scrooge. You, oh, you're not. No, you're not. I am a little bit of a Halloween Scrooge. No, you're fucking not. You just said earlier that you were fucking, uh, you were going to give whole candy bars to kids this Halloween. Well, yeah, but I was well, going to inject them with laxatives. To kids. No, Brendan, that's illegal. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to poison candy. Yeah, please yeah that is illegal. Also, Don't do that. Also, please say you're not going to do that. I'm not doing that. that. They'll be like the super bad, the bad Santa kid. It's fine. By the time this comes out, it's going to be way too late for somebody to prep that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every yeah, costume is going to be do? an Oregon Trail costume because everybody on the block in here with dysentery. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Have you man? ever gotten a Halloween candy that had something actually fucked up in it? Almond Joy. No, but my parents did that. My parents and my grandparents did the I need to taste test your Halloween candy. They would eat half of it every fucking time. Oh my god. Oh my evil, evil. My parents did the same though. I can't even <laughs> I can't even lie. I'll, also, fuck you. Almond Joy rocks. You're a bitch. You're such a little bitch. I it, Okay, is it? Can I I also don't like Almond Joy. Can I explain ah, how I eat guys. Almond Joys and then you can judge me? What about Matt? Mounds. What about mounds? I don't like coconut candy. I have mounds are okay. The only difference between mounds and almond joy are the almonds. Are the al yeah, mounds. I turn them into mounds yeah. and then I suck on the almonds until they're like nice and wet and then I spit them on the ground. I don't know why. Why do you guys hate what? almonds? What? I no, I almonds. love almonds. I, I don't like coconut candy. I like coconut rum. Also, they're not called. They're called. I think they're called bounty in. in uh, Y'all gotta Canada. try a twin bing. Bounty. That's a Midwest candy. You'd what like is a, a twin bing. Twin bing? It, a twin bing. Yeah, they make bing. it in my town. It's a twin bing. It's a really good candy. What? What is it? It's like a peanut butter crunchy. Uh, it, it, they look fucking. They look like poop when you unwrap them, but they're really fucking good. They're like a nougaty peanut butter crunchy. Yeah, you told me you showed me these, and you were like, "Oh, they make they make soda out of this," and I was like, "What? What? Yeah, you told me that while you were playing Dark Souls on Pain Hole. They make soda out of it. Oh no, I think it was that's beer. a fact from you. Oh, I could see beer being made from it. No, it was beer. Yeah, you told me that there was a drink they made with twin bings. Oh, that's a lie. I lied. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I felt a lie. I got caught. That's a straight lie. I would have believed it, though, because they make, like, those coffee K-cups, too. They're all, like, flavor candies. Palmer candy twin bing stouts are real. Oh, then, yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So your lie what? became truth over time. Your I mean, yeah, I mean, that's truth. usually what happens. It's called manifestation, boys. <laughs> it's called manifestation. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. We talk so often about me invading dreams that I get literally a story once a week about me invading somebody's dream. You're like the guy from the new Nick Cage movie. We were talking about Halloween candy a fuck ton, dude. Like, my favorite, even though I know it's shit. Do, do you guys know what a Popeye cigarette is? I do not. Are they the candy cigarettes that have like the little yeah, the powdered candy, sugar the- that you blow and you look tough? You know what I'm talking about? Candy, I mean, I don't know. They were just I, I know candy can, cigarettes. I've had candy cigarettes. They're okay. The Popeye's can't sell them candy in the US cigarettes. anymore. Really? You can't? Yeah. Because they look like cigarettes? Because they look like Because they <laughs> incentivize Oh, smoking. yeah. I got busted for, um, I got busted for a pack in high school once. But that, I think they're, yeah, I think they're. Because they realized it was just fucking candy. In, can, in uh, Canada, I think they're literally just called like candy sticks, Popeye's candy sticks, because they have Popeye but on do, them. Do they have like, you put it in your mouth, it's like a little thin piece of paper surrounding it, and you blow into it because there's like powdered sugar, so it looks like smoke? No. No? What? No, I've never, I've never heard of that. Mine were just like candy sticks. Yeah, candy cigarettes. They were like little, little white candy sticks, and I, I loved those fucking sticks, dude. So many houses would give them out as a kid, and they're like the most nostalgic thing for me. Because I, what I would do is like pretend to smoke them because, of course, and then I, you just like fucking eat them and smash your teeth on them. It was fucking sick. I love these things. Can I say fuck everybody who gives wax fucking lips out for Halloween? Oh, yeah. fuck wax lips. Fuck yeah, wax. It's not fucking candy, and I'm sick of it being in the fucking discussion for candy. It's not. How do you, what is are wax you supposed lips to put it in your lips and like, it's it's just gross it's just gross They're- what is this i'm um, play now chew later yeah it's like a chewable wax lips gum kind of thing they're horrible do they not you put it in your anything? mouth and it looks like you have funny lips and that's like, it it looks like you have and funny it tastes lips. Like shit oh it looks really gross but they come with trading cards I don't know. My favorite Halloween candy, like that I used to get uh, all the time with my grandparents, uh, was uh, popcorn balls. That was one of my favorite treats as a kid. Popcorn balls. That was always, yeah, popcorn balls. And I'd be like, oh, watch out. They put razor blades in the popcorn balls. So my grandpa would always have to take a bite before I could have any of them. Oh, you mean like homemade popcorn balls? No, nah, they were store bought. Oh. You think my grandparents like cooked? You're silly. What's your guys' favorite Halloween candy? Favorite. Oh, man. Yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if you were a little boy, no taller than your father's knee and you were going trick-or-treating right now what would you be really excited if you got if i was a little boy i'd be fucking gunning for three musketeers oh dude yeah three musketeers goes crazy my favorite though was crunch bars i love crunch bars oh, crunch bars good. used to be my favorite yeah crunch bars are so good i love i love the crunch dude I, it's so like it's what it says on the tin i know dude it's fucking awesome just it's just chocolate with rice that's it when i was a kid i i stopped at this house once and they gave me a juicy red apple and i took it i bit into it and it tasted so fucking good and i smiled and they like lit up so much like the people uh... that gave me the apple lit up so like i always loved getting fruit because people would be like oh, so fucking happy when a kid like bites right into it they're like, oh, yeah. fuck yeah, I did the right thing. I gave fruit out this year. To be fair, when you've been trick-or-treating, a nice apple like that hits like the Like a nice it's, fucking it apple. So it's nice. so good. It's like a little rest yeah. stop. My brother was so mad. He's like, pieces of shit gave me a fucking apple. And I'm like, give me that son of a bitch. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember liking the the houses where, like, they were not popular usually, the houses with fruits. But I was always super happy because I was like, hell yeah. Oh, what about the houses that gave out soda pop? That, Those were we fine too. About that. Yeah. I've never heard of that in my life, and now I'm so mad. Yeah, I kind of so weird. Weird. That's that's so cool. We get like a can of it, just like, oh, this is great, or water. Is it like were were they like mini cans? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Because some mm. people around here, especially, there's a big um. Where I was growing up, there's like a big, like soda plant not too far away. So some people would have jobs there, and they can get lots of like twelve packs that are incredibly cheap. So for Halloween, they could stock up and just give those out. I think I think part of it was what I like to think is the people who gave out soda were people who didn't prep for Halloween, and they were like, "Oh fuck, okay, we just went grocery shopping. What can I give these kids so they leave me the fuck alone?" I just realized I think I did. I think we did get Halloween soda cans, but uh, yeah, no, we did. They were like baby little baby cans of this like really crappy soda. Yes, the baby. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What was it? It was not. It was like the eight ounce mini cans. Yeah. Yeah, which I have never seen in stores. Oh, I see them in stores all the time. The skinny ones and the small ones. Yeah, I've never seen the little ones in stores. There was like a little boy on it 
that was blowing bubble gum like balloons. That's all. No, I that was remember. an SCP. I don't think that one's real. <laughs> an SCP? No, I swear it's real. It was a little boy and he was popping balloons and it was like bubble gum flavored mini cans of. Uh, Speaking uh, of little boys popping, how about that trick or treat movie? A little boy right? attacks the city Sam. of Warren Valley, Ohio. It was Warren Valley, Ohio. You got excited. Warren Valley is not a real place in Ohio. You don't fucking know that. There's a there's a Warren County. If you could kill someone with a type of candy, what would your type of candy be? What would your preferred candy weapon be? Because there was quite a bit of candy weaponry in this movie. Nerd's rope. Is this murder them with the candy like it's a weapon or they eat it and they die? No, not eat it and they die. I mean no, murder like them weapon. with the weapon. Weaponize the candy. Okay, like okay. If I, want a, I want a fragmentation almond joy. I want it to fucking explode in their mouth. Have you ever played Resistance 2? Oh my god, where's this going? <laughs> Do you know the grenades that fire a billion spikes? Yeah. Imagine that, but a popcorn <laughs> that, but ball. Almond the Chimera ones. Oh, popcorn oh, ball. The Chimera Why are we all grenades? going for grenades? <laughs> We're all going no, for grenades. I, I grenade candy. I, yeah, I would <laughs> use... <laughs> nerd's rope is good, actually. I would use a Just Twizzler, and it would extend like the Predator staff and AVP, <laughs> and I'd chuck it like a javelin. <laughs> Now I want to have like some kind of hard stickular candy, but I want it to be sharpened on the end and I'm whistling like I'm from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie and that's my <laughs> little spear. That thing was really fucking powerful. I'm powerful. whistling Halloween songs. That thing was fucking busted. Let's get into a Marvel power scaling discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, so long since I've top. seen Marvel, but I don't know what tops Yondu and his little stick. Who's the strongest entity in this? Ah, it's going to be Sam. In this movie, it's Sam. It's Sam. Yeah, it's probably Sam. Sam can't die, can he? Can he tell you? I mean, if you I like know. porp, if you like popped him, if you like porpulated him, if you like ripped him to sunder, I feel like he's a holiday cryptid, so he loses power if people aren't doing it anymore. Yeah. Like every fucking Santa Claus movie for the past forty years. <laughs> oh, that's why he's so. People like, aren't doing Christmas anymore, so that means Santa has no powers. Now he goes back to being fat and yeah. Bald. Yeah, Sam like has that. no power because parents are doing trunk or treat. Hate that Fuck shit. Trunk or treat. Trunk or treat is acceptable. At non Halloween day functions. If your local church or school is doing a trunk or treat not on Halloween, then sure. That's a bonus. I've event. never heard of trunk or treat until today, and that shit sounds so lame. It's 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 literally because of a year or two ago when they had that big fentanyl scare. And so parents were what? like, We can't we can't have our kids going to houses. That'd be that'd be horrible. They're gonna put fentanyl in the candy. Oh dude, nobody Oh no. I, nobody wants to give your fucking kids drugs, dude. Yeah, Come that shit's on. hard to get. I, I need it. I saw it a lot more in my town after the fentanyl scare. Oh my god. Even before the pandemic, I've been in a apartment complexes where they'll do trunk or treat because they don't want people or kids specifically knocking door to door in people's apartments. So they just turn them loose in the parking lot. I can get that. that I can sense. understand that. Or just setting up at the bottom of the apartment yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Me yeah. improvising a t-shirt cannon, but filling with shards <laughs> of candy corn. Does, does Halloween even happen around you guys? Because for me, it doesn't really happen. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Not not many kids go up you, my you street, though, because we're on a high incline, so we get hit like once. I'm disappointed because Halloween around my neighborhood, nobody decorates except us. It's really lame. Dude, why don't you go adult trick-or-treating? Because, because it's fucking oh, weird, man. dude. Because <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> every, I want to say every person goes through that at some point in their lives where in, while they're an adult where you're like, dude, we should totally go adult trick-or-treating. And it's all fun and games until you get to the one person who's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I've never actually been tempted. What do we think Sam's stance on adult trick-or-treating is? Pro. Yeah, pro. Anything, pro. Pro. anything pro that makes how, yeah. yeah, anything that makes Halloween more powerful. As long as it's not at the expense of children, I'd guess. Yeah. Like if adults are shoving them out of the way to get to the door faster, <laughs> that'd probably piss them off. Get out of the way, nerd! I gotta get a Three Musketeers bar! Yeah. <laughs> Kids! Yeah, I don't think he would do that. I, I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that at all. He, he wasn't down for that. That's what, that's what one of the little skits was. I think Halloween would be a lot cooler if adults was it? adults didn't get to trick-or-treat, but they had to wrestle in the street for candy. Krieger was scaring kids off his deck to steal their candy. Krieg, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Did anyone else here think that candy corn tasted different under the different colored parts of it? Yes. I bit the yellow parts off, and that's all I would eat. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat both and still convince myself that they taste different, even though... It yeah. was so obvious. I was like, I like the yellow parts. So I'd bite the ends off and just chuck the orange ones away. Yeah. Like I was spitting out peanut shells. And then I grew up and realized candy corn fucking sucks. I haven't had candy corn in years. I genuinely can't even tell you. You bite into it and you go, oh, right. This is what it tastes like. And then you don't have any more. Isn't it literally just fucking sugar? It tastes sugar like. Sugar gummies? It tastes like just hardened pure 
sugar. It's not even a gummy. Can I say, yeah. regarding Sam, I think there was a missed opportunity with Sam, and I think it would have been very funny since with the Sam and Krieg fight near the end, it does get a little bit Looney tunes A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, but that's what's fun. It, it, it goes off mm -hmm. the rails for the ending. But it, okay. the landing, even. It's dreadful that there's not a moment where Sam spits pumpkin seeds like a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I wish. Actually, you're so right. That'd be fucking awesome. And then the, oh. and then the bus driver gets up and starts spitting his teeth back at him in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> tooth gun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude, that we need a movie where there's a fu where two old people are just fucking machine gunning their teeth at each other. <laughs> that would be so awesome. That would be incredible. Saints and Sinners coming this January. <laughs> Rabid grannies. <laughs> Rabid Grannies does not sound There's, like it's a movie. <laughs> I have amazing news. It's a real movie. I, I would call it senile activity. Ooh, that's <laughs> a really good one. Senile is that a activity. Movie? Yeah, well, yeah. senile activity. I mean, if you saw old people shooting their teeth at you, with like, it's going to be in 3D. They're going to shoot the teeth at the screen. <laughs> There's going to be theater employees at the bottom of the theater throwing teeth <laughs> into the audience. That's awesome. Shucking teeth. I love the IMAX experience. You grab the tooth buckets. You can buy teeth on Wish. You just have to just go on there, wait like five months, and then you'll have your teeth to throw on people. I can't buy anything on Wish because uh, somebody used uh, my, all three of my emails to make accounts in Russian on Wish. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. So all three of my emails are locked because somebody made accounts in Russian on Wish with them because they don't need like verification. Oh, uh, there's no, my wish. I might not be able to make a Wish account then. Mine's probably fucked. Let me check. I've never bought anything off of Wish. Nothing seems interesting off of there. I mean, it's literally garbage. I wanted to buy cheap garbage costumes off there, but like I couldn't. Oh, for like account. videos and stuff? Yeah, for like videos. Oh, I, I wanted to buy that. like Okay, assets. I can see that. I can see that. I guess maybe like dollar store stuff could be on there, but then you could also go to the dollar store. You get a dollar store stuff. Man, that guy really had to feed that kid poison, huh? Yeah. Fucking Halloween verified my email. I just made a wish account. <laughs> Fuck you, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Not verifying that email address. It's like hard to find a good point to just jump in and talk about this movie because it's told non chronologically in like short little. Bits. I mean, I guess we could talk about it like store by story beats because every story, like there's five. Well, you could separate them out into. Let's see. Okay, there. It starts with Steve and his son. I yes, yeah, St Steve and son. Steve and his son. Girls need dates for the bonfire. Yeah, werewolf bonfire. And then there's short bus obliteration day. Yep. Prank. And, and I guess tied in. Would prank girl be in that, or is that kind of separated? Do you think? I guess that's what's prank. Prank girl, girl was kind no, of tied in with the, prank, the yeah prank girl. Yeah, that's that's, that's part of the bus one. Oh you, um, yeah. I mean they're yeah. like the same. They're basically they're telling that story. That's basically in the same one. There's the Out of all of fight. these, the the prank bus and the, the 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 prank and the short bus definitely was very. Uh, are you afraid of the dark core? Oh, it big was because they they started off by telling a campfire story basically. Yeah. yeah. And I guess old man and bitter man in house. Mr. Krieger. Yeah. I just want to talk about shit I like. Those werewolf transformations were fucking so cool. They were cool. awesome. Great. But oh imagine God, the so next good. day if they leave the skin out there and some guy walks by and just starts trying on the skin like pants. I hate the way you fucking think, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I can Why put a pair of zippers on these. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a beautiful woman. Huge tits on this one, Jesus! Ah, uh, what, what the? I don't know because the the they, they gotta the, reclaim the, the skin. Have titties. Do do they have to reclaim the titties? I don't, I don't know. Like, because the thing is, isn't, isn't, isn't you think about the logistics like of werewolf titties? Well, no, because you said you said the skin suits had titties, but I feel like the skin suits would not have titties because the skin is just the flesh that goes off, doesn't gum with the muscle or the fat. And I think breasts. Oh, I yeah, yeah, that's true. You see where I'm going? Do werewolves have two nipples or six? Why would they, oh because they're dogs? Do dogs have six nipples? Yeah. yeah. Hey Google, how many nipples does a dog have? <laughs> Just the six. two. She said six. What the fuck? You get put on yeah. a list. No, why would you get put on a list? It's, it's I don't know, because man. they have puppies and they need more tits to nurse more puppies. Uh, it's literally the six in E six two one. Fuck off. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what does the two and one stand for? Two, nipples, oh, two one balls, nipple. one penis. Two balls, one penis, oh. six nipples. <laughs> it's crazy that that uh, werewolf showed up and trick or treat. 
fuck were we talking about? We were trying to separate the skits so out into... Yeah, I mean, there's like four. I guess there's also roaming vampire, kind of. Uh, he doesn't... He's not that really... ties into the principal one. He ties into... He, well, yeah. It's, it's hard to lock it down because there's so many moving parts that are all tied together. That is kind of the issue with it, is that you can get some pretty broad ones, but there's so many little bits between all of them. Yeah. Even even though there's separate bits, yeah, I don't... This is a movie where I don't think you could cut it into the separate bits and leave them as no, they are. No, that, that's, why, that's why I think it succeeds as an anthology, because the way it, it like, wait, like, weaves in every story together mm-hmm. is so like it's like a perfect package where as an anthology like it doesn't feel like an anthology despite being it one and when i they're think at the werewolf really cool. bonfire and you see the people from the party are being rolled over yeah and, like, and then you see earlier big baby hot dog and man brendan screams big baby i love the big baby and i'm so sad big baby that, like, is awesome I, I i feel like if i could do anything about this movie i just would want to see more like more halloween costumes and more big baby a lot of the halloween costumes were generic but there was one superman it was super like you you own warner brothers what does warner brothers own like you fucking uh a- alien doesn't or warner nope. brothers no? No, no uh, Fox. Fox owns Alien, which is now Disney. That is Fox. There is an entire, I think, Alien or Alien versus Predator anime with 13 episodes completely done that Disney just has sitting in a vault somewhere because they don't know what to do that's, with it. That's ass. That is such ass. I don't know, Lord of the Rings? That's... You know? Uh, have a little, have a little Warner, Gimli. No, I think that's New Line, possibly Amazon Isn't now. New Line owned Oh, by... wait, no, it is Amazon. Right, because they, they temporarily the have the rights, but I think New Line still has the some Lord of the Rings right holding. Man, I hate movies. it here. <laughs> it's a mess. I'm trying to think. Matrix. Godzilla. Yeah, they, yeah. Warner Brothers has Matrix. Terminator. All I've learned every Warner Brothers property by seeing Space Jam two twice. Fucking, you know what? Fuck it. Happy Feet. Just Anthony have a Davis. Happy Feet Penguin show up. Fly Sky on the Squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh they you know what they own they own the joker let's see that in the sequel dude trick-or-treat to joker and hello Dune. sam are you ready to get up to some halloween hijinks <laughs> <laughs> and then he just goes <laughs> what was the That's noise he made when they got a, wasn't it literally just he went huh 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 the way he just gets like shot in the head and he just fucking flies off screen is so funny it will never not be funny to see a child in danger what uh let, let's get into the stink of it yeah. what do you think is the weakest skit out of all of them basically like set not separated but like in your head what do you think is like the weakest uh, for you uh, god but they're all like they're good. so intertwined it's hard i really like all of them uh i want to say the weakest throughout is probably the date girls until the reveal yeah because it's I, not that interesting but then the reveal is so fucking good that it makes up for it but it's not bad it is the one that has the least going on during it compared to like the kids talking well because it's like an all movie build-up thing too and the steve being weird i think my favorite is the high school principal mr mr wilkins i really like it yeah he's hilarious i think it's so like it's so he, it's so funny and also it's so fucked up and the twists are good. It's a good twist to be like, oh, actually, his kid is on it too. They're a family of murderers. Like it's uh, it's good. That's good. I like that. Weakest? I'd say <sighs> it's so hard to. I, I thought you were gonna say favorite, and I was like, I can pick a favorite pretty easy. But like weakest nah, is hard. See, that's why I knew is like pick the weakest one. Robot. That's what I was going to say is robot, robot lady. I would say robot lady, but does that count as a full skit? That was like the introduction. It's not. I mean, it, it's just the cold open. If you, if you, if you take all of their appearances, if you separate these, these pools of skits instead of into skits into the pools of characters, I think the, the, I, the lady I and the guy. Robot. Yeah. No, I, I, I think it would be for me the robot because I mean, I, I, because I, I still think it's a good opener because you immediately understand what sam is about that's why i think even though it's simple it's good what is sam about because i don't think we brought that up at any point he likes halloween (laughs) yeah but he's the he is literally the embodiment of halloween and you need to respect the customs and traditions of halloween or else there are rules visited by a little boy there's rules 
That, yeah, that, I think that's exactly the, what the guy says to her before she gets fucking yeah. got. Yeah. There's there's rules to Halloween. There's traditions and you got to follow them or else Sam is going to be unhappy. Fucking kill you. Uh I know that Sam like he's an observer for most of the stories. Yeah. He's only proactive in like the Mr. Krieger one. Mr. Krieger. Otherwise he just shows up, asks for candy, gets candy and then goes away. So I I guess as long as he gets candy he's happy, really. But why did he wait so long to get revenge on the bus driver? Unless the kids going down to the quarry is what provoked them to rise up. I have no idea. <laughs> is it um is it weird they establish rules in the bus short where like the pumpkins are lit so the kids are safe versus the old man has all of those pumpkins lit and then he's not safe? Oh I oh 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 sorry uh I found the rules. Oh did you find the rules? I found I find I find the trick or treat set sam's halloween rules there are seven official rules yeah okay so number one always hand out candy to trick-or-treaters number two always wear a costume number three never blow out a jack-o'-lantern before midnight number four always respect the dead number five always check your candy number six never take down your decorations before november 1st and number seven never hurt the innocent Fair and enough. one of those is uh, applicable more days than just one yeah it's fucked up me puffing on a big cigar sure. i'm always wearing a costume that's what the mask is i'm gonna hit you over the head with a comically large <laughs> frying pan and you're gonna go Boing. Boing. The only thing with the movie is if you don't follow the rules, Sam shows up and something bad happens to you mm-hmm. in some way, shape, or form. Although, yeah, he's not, he's only active at the end, though. Yeah. For the rest of the movie, he's kind of there. A silent observer. No, well, that's not true. Well, There's he, two. He, he was also he, the robot. He kills the robot, the robot. yeah. He jumps yeah. out and kills the robot. I, I jumped yeah. twice at the beginning of this movie. Yeah, I don't you know did. why. You, you got fucking jumps. I like actually the... screamed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you, you went. <laughs> He got me. I wasn't expecting him. It was so early in the movie. It was a cold open. What were you saying about the Dwight? Who's Dwight? <laughs> I, I wrote down in my notes, Dwight Schrute kills the kid, and I don't remember why. Are you talking about fucking You're talking about Wilkins. Wilkins. You're I talking talking about about Wilkins. 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 I don't know why Wilkins I wrote that. Wilkins killing that kid. Nastiest scene in all of cinema, also. I hate that Oh, the scene, barf. The pucular region. Oh, the, the, oh, the chocolate so barf is so gross. It It's one thing to be gross. Like, the blood, the puke, and the fucking barf like all chocolate mixed up i threw up after we uh watched the movie not on purpose though but that was it's because i kind of unrelated. I drank half a cup of moldy coffee <laughs> the sound of the kid puking though is oh it was wretched it was vile it like goes it's so oh, that shit was percolating that shit sounded like minecraft lava it was it was <laughs> It was very Augustus Gloop core. It was. It, uh, was, it was a gloop he core. Was, he looked like he looked like a gloopy. It was gloopy. He was He's gloopy. Gloop coated. Always drink your candy. I'll be honest, the most scared during that movie was in the Wilkinson scene where he's Wilkins scene where he's burying the other kid and the hand pops out, but it's a fucking clown hand. A clown I was, hand? I was muted, I think, but I uh, I like screamed. Was it a clown It was hand? a clown hand. Yeah, it was a kid in a clown costume. It was a clown hand. It was a, it was a kid in a clown costume. He had two bodies in there. I thought I thought it was the I'm gonna be honest, I always thought that it was that little that, that gloop kid. No, because they, they they showed it's like a, they showed his head. It's a little clown costume, and yeah, hmm. the, the gloop kid was obviously done for because they chopped his head off yeah oh you're right what the fuck am i talking about of course <laughs> yeah he was he was he super buries dead. the kid and the, yeah no you're totally right why would he get up i'm a dummy good good fucking i like that it, it, i i do like also that it it like jumps the timeline a lot like it goes forward backwards in the oh, timeline like you see wilkins he kills that kid he like is like with his yeah. son and they're like hey let's carve the jack-o'-lantern and it's just the the the, the candy kid's head is the jack-o'-lantern and then later wilkins is a vampire stalking people and like the yeah the the comeuppance because i was watching and i was like oh this fucker he's not gonna get any comeuppance because i've i've i thought this movie was very comeuppance core and uh mm-hmm. then when it they pulled the mask off and it was him i was like oh fuck yeah dude fucking own this yeah guy. no everybody gets their comeuppance if you're a meanie you're getting the uh killed dude you're getting killed i thought he was a real vampire for a little bit i was underwhelmed if they did a mm. sequel and made the time frame the same his son could be the new weird fucker in the streets he'd be if around they, the right age oh yeah yeah if they did a new one i'd i'd 
Honestly, I'd want it to be set in the 90s, so I don't have to see any cell phone core horror. I mean, you could do it set now and just not have people with cell phones. Yeah, you, I, you don't have to do cell phones. I feel like... Cell phones make make a lot of movies tricky in general. You could never do the Blair Witch. I mean, you could do the Blair Witch. It'd be found footage on the cell phone. We have no signal out here in the yeah, woods. It's always, always that. There's no signal uh, here. There is no signal here. Honestly, it's better to just ignore it and not bring it up. It's fine. If they say there's no signal here and that's all you need fine there's no phones now so if you don't then people will say why don't they just call the cops <laughs> like I, like 2013 <laughs> evil dead does that they just never bring up cell phones and it's great because of it i would i would love they a do. movie yeah, to be like right. i would love a horror movie to start off with there is a solar flare cell phones are not working <laughs> and it's just a slasher flick oh you mean resident evil well, resident evil apocalypse no, no, just have it be a solar flare and like yeah. nobody is freaking out about it it's just a slasher flick it's like terminator 3 where that virus has knocked out every fucking card reader in the country. Uh, Did Terminator uh, 3? Oh, yeah. Was there a moment in Terminator 3, or am I imagining it as a kid? I think that's the only Terminator movie I've seen. Did her, did that oh, lady Terminator, like, inflate her boobs? The only... In that yes. movie? Okay, maybe. Yes. Sure what? I've never happened. S- I gotta watch it now. <laughs> she, she, if I remember right, because it's also been a while since I've seen Terminator 3, she's going to, like, I think, try to get information out of somebody, or she she's trying to, like, dress herself up more to look more attractive to the boys. So she looks down and then goes and then talks to somebody. Uh, But it's also been a while. I don't think she talks. She just tries to walk through. It's been so long. Terminator 3 is Brendan, you should just see other Terminators. No, that's not that. Just see two. Just see no, one I or think two. it's funnier that way. It's like Alien. I've only seen Prometheus. Oh my god, you're killing me. I keep Alien and Aliens in a little box that I don't watch. I've only seen Prometheus, and I saw that in theaters day one. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Dude, it's like a lot of movies. Brendan. I like to keep it that way. I don't do this for you. I do this to torture my roommate and longtime friend James, uh, because he's a big like Alien, Terminator head. And so, like, I keep these movies. It was Die Hard for a while until I watched all of Die Hard with him. And I keep these movies in my pocket just to torture him and others because it's like, yeah, I've seen media that references this media. I don't get it. Seeing only Prometheus day one is so fucked up. <laughs> it's like Predator. It's like the only Predator movie I saw was the um, uh, the one where they go to the planet. Oh, Oh, Predators? Oh, yeah. but that one's Predators good, is good. I like that one. That's a good one. I thought for sure you were going to say, I've only seen The Predator, the and I laughed at every autism joke. autism one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's uh, steal autism yes. one. That's to make a ourselves pretty... more autistic and make us the true masters of the universe. <laughs> what a psychotic Real. fucking movie. What a crazy fucking plot. Dude. I hate The Holy Predators so fucking shit. much. I hate The pre- dogs. How did those kids... Uh, for the prank segment of this movie, how do those kids get such high quality like zombie costumes? That shit was tight. Might have went to Party City. Yeah, you go to Party City and then you, I mean, they were all like they were all like rolling around in mud. They were down there in the sludge. Like at the beginning, remember they were all they they were literally in the swamp and then they just all popped out. So I mean, any costume, pristine or not, the moment you exit a fucking swamp, you're gonna look kind of gross, you know. Boggy is all hell. Yeah, bog. You're gonna look bog core. We got. I gotta get core out of my fucking vocab vocabulary. Yeah, holy shit. Your verbose shit. vernacular is fucking core core right now. It's core core as fucking. I don't like. It. <laughs> I love core core videos. What's? I don't know what that is. Ball and cat forty three. Ball and cat forty three. It's hard to explain. I'll show you later. Okay. <laughs> Carcor. We talked about worst. What about best? Uh, the kids in the swamp. Yeah, swamp kids. Swamp. But oh, you, guys, Corey kids. you guys all prefer. Okay, Corey. I'm kids. big Corey. Corey. Kid. Corey kids. Oh, Corey. Sorry, Corey. I thought Corey. you said Corey. I was like, what are you, <laughs> you talking about? You need to get that word out of your fucking head. Uh, I do. I do. Corey Fuck. kids was my favorite. Well, okay. Okay. Here's the, here, how about this. What's your favorite Halloween costume in this movie, and why is it teeth? Oh, the Why teeth, teeth, the teeth boy. in the teeth paper boy. bag with the fucking teeth I cut out of a magazine paper bag is boy. good I shit. like the Aku kid in the back on the right. He had like the weird samurai-ish mask. My favorite aesthetic is all those like 40s old something. timey. Yeah. I also liked Coach Hot Dog. Coach Hot Dog, good for him. He had... Mm, he fucked a pig, apparently. He, he I don't know why they had pig. to show all that mom ass in that shot. They, they did show a lot of mom ass, and during the entire time, those kids are like, thank you, Mrs. Winning. Brian Singer was like, we gotta see some teachers. mom ass. Yeah, it's so yeah. gratuitous amounts. Good. 
She also offered those kids alcohol, and uh, one of they them said, said yeah because no. they were down for it, and the other one was a fucking stick in the mud and said, <clears throat> "Little fucking no narc kid, fuck that kid." Yeah, fuck that kid. We hate that kid. I hate, dude. You don't fucking do that. You get fuck. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. That you're you're like what twelve, and like somebody in your trust circle. Like an adult in your trust circle. <laughs> one of your teachers. One of your teachers says, would you like a beer? Are you kidding me? You say Dude, no? I did jello shots with a teacher once. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You take the opportunity by the balls, dude. I mean, I was, I was, I was almost of age at that point, though. You so. take that opportunity by the fucking hot dog costume and you get in there. I was 19. I did do jello shots with a teacher at 19. Sorry, I'm like having a flashback. <laughs> I mean, 19 is not... Yeah, for you it's Canadians. You can drink in Canada. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking like 12, because they were, they were pretty good. You have a little like wine <laughs> with dinner. Yeah. That is true. They would take one sip, and they would go, this is bad. I don't like it. When I was in Vancouver, I ran into a very drunk Canadian man who almost slammed into a fucking elevator door I was on. Oh, this poor man. And he said, as a kid, I would do this all the time. <laughs> I would always run out the elevators, and I banged my head really hard. Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, did you just saw, like, Jesus Christ? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fucking what, do you, yeah, what do you even say to that? I was like, what happened? He said, oh, I just stopped the elevator started to break. I said, what do you, what do you mean the elevator started to break? Went, ah, well, I grew up in China and that was it. It was a fucking Shen Mui <laughs> inter interaction and he just stopped talking. <laughs> where are sailors? Where are the sailors? Do you know where sailors hang out? <sighs> China, apparently. He didn't even specify. He wasn't like, I was from Shanghai, but he's just like, I was in, I'm from China. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, I feel cool, like dude. I feel like the the quarry kids skit or bit short was like the best start to finish. Yeah, the best like cohesive. Skit. Yeah, it, 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 the best payoff. It is. I, I think it's also the longest. It is because like, it also includes like other uh, like the. It also includes the backstory of the ghost kids. I also really like the Sam home invasion arc uh, of this movie like a so lot much. because it's so halloween themed in such like yeah i'm using fucking halloween magic to torture this old man who shoots him in the fucking head i need to see more of that dude like slicing his ankle open with a razor blade oh candy my bar God. yeah that was awesome the steps you i, can I get kept that. focusing on how fucking cool the steps were that they were covered in candy razor blades and glass i loved that oh yeah i dude also just i don't know one of the most insane reveals in that is just when <laughs> Sam is on the ceiling just spitting gunk at Mr. <laughs> God. Green. It's so fucking so funny, gross. dude. It's like Toad from the X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> if you could add a skit, pitch me the skit you would add to this movie that wouldn't ruin the, co the cohesion. Okay, so it has to fit into the... It has okay. to fit it's into it, order. and it can use any of the I, characters okay. from it. I, I've been writing short uh short stories like short horror stories recently and there's one that i really want to do and i i am trying so hard to figure out how i could include that in this movie this is in ohio right yeah yeah it takes place in ohio how's the culinary scene in ohio it's ohio uh, it's it's, <laughs> it's all over know. the place it depends where yeah. you're at Skyline Chili, fuck Cincinnati. I hate the city of Cincinnati. I have met many people from Ohio. I have not many people who have sought out Ohio. Yeah, I mean, people people have this meme now where it's like, oh, Ohio's disgusting. No, it did. The, the, the culinary just depends where you're at. Like, Cleveland is super, like, Polish. Now I'm thinking about it, and I don't think my idea works. I really like this little short I thought about, but I don't think it's going to work. So my my short story, Picklings, it's about a chef that starts selling extreme culinary Halloween experiences where he serves still living humans that have been li like pickling alive for a few weeks. I don't think it would fit in this movie, but I just need to get it out there because I think that's a really fun, short, horror, grimy, gross movie. I would have a hot dog vendor who's selling uncouth hot dogs. Just so you could use the hot dog coach before he dies. Is no, that but oh, okay. The hot the hot dog coach would be involved though. He'd be working like advertising for him because he's like a high school football coach, and they need multiple hats to make money. Oh, spinning a sign. Yeah, he's the he's the guy who holds the sign. He's like, I'm getting off work. I'm going to a party. He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then the guy looks, the hot dog vendor looks at the camera and says, the hot dogs are people. <laughs> no. He sells really <laughs> shitty hot dogs, but then a hooded figure comes and offers him a mystery meat that'll make people love his hot dogs, and they love his fucking hot dogs. Oh, and then you involve everybody in the parade. Yeah. 
You yeah, exactly. And then the parade people, they really like it and they start digging into it and they're like cla- they're like clawing at him, they want more hot dogs. <laughs> oh, and he's, he's getting worried. And then at one point he just ditches the stand, they knock it over, and they just book it after him. And sometimes other skits, you just see him like running down the street and there's like four hundred people chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like I'd like okay. Instead of like they, they love the hot dogs, uh I would tweak it to where one person finds a fingernail in their hot dog. Oh. And then another person finds like a whole finger in the dog. And instead of like people clamoring and running after him, it's an angry mob chasing him with pitchforks and torches. And then once he's dead, wanna... they have their hot dogs. They're trying to assemble the body through the pieces in it like Zodia. <laughs> Oh, and then Sam would show up. That's not respecting the dead. I want to do something for uh, Big Baby. I want to do Big Baby something. You know, I want to... Because he's in the movie, but not long enough. He has to be longer in the movie. So I'm trying to think, like, what if he was, like... What if Big Baby all night was trying to... uh, What's the word for that in English? What's the little carts that Baby go on? Stroller. Yeah, what if he just, like, kept going in, like women's strollers and like put the baby somewhere else <laughs> he just he just walking up to strollers during this parade throwing the baby into the sky and trying to fit it in and going this one too small and he just keeps yeah. moving on from stroller to stroller yeah, but like i'm not even not even like in the foreground like this is something in the background and you have to piece it together yourself like you know like when, when the vampire kills the when uh, mr wilkins as a vampire kills a woman like in the background big baby is trying to get into a woman's my okay my pitch for this would be the clown suit kid in the backyard wilkins fills up the hole leaves goes to be the vampire um you shoot back to the graveyard where like his backyard where the kid is buried and the clown kid gets up out of the grave during the shot where the where the kid at the end is wearing like his dad's bloody clothes and sitting on the steps have it have the kid in the clown costume be barely visible in the window Uh. just a little a little addition like a five ten second thing where it's like the hand fucking pops out of the grave the kid either survives or you could do zombie kids or you could leave it ambiguous but you could have it like the the shadow or the slight visage of the clown kid who got shoveled in the window of the house. Is there a Halloween tradition that they don't talk about in this movie? Thundersticks. Ooh. What is a thundersticks? Oh, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't get to Midwestern thing. I also do not know about thundersticks. Yeah, I've never. I, I Brennan, had like, I'm from the Midwest and I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so like, um, damn. <laughs> when, when I was a kid, when Halloween was over, uh, people would go out and like shoot fireworks off. Mm-hmm. On Halloween? Yeah. No, this is huh. all a lie. I was just gonna see how far I could get with it, and I couldn't think of anything. There's no such thing. Yeah, because no, because nobody knows what the fuck a thunder stick is. What is a thunder stick? Thunder sticks, you like bang them together. You get them at sporting events. Oh, you mean like the long balloons, like the fucking yeah, like the uh, noise maker? See, I said it, but oh. I couldn't capitalize on it, and I just have to give up the bit. I'm sorry. Ooh, how embarrassing! How it embarrassing. happens. That's how I know I'm tired. I. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't like roll with it. Fuck. It's like it's like hard to pick and choose things to change about this movie because it's so like tightly knit. I picked this. I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy to p- to talk about. I love this movie. Now I'm realizing like there's nothing to talk oh, no, about a movie that is this fucking tight knit yeah, and perfect. It's good. I genuinely do can't. a do a skit where Sam's at the Walmart and he like locks somebody inside of the self checkout counter. I just do think it'd be real funny. Sam does something mean to people buying clearance candy the day afterwards. Why didn't she buy it the night before and give it to children? He's sitting there oh, shaking his candy rod going, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck well, you. Well, it's because he doesn't have power after It's because um, he only November works one first. night a year. What yeah. a fucking freeloader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you are so fucking dead. You're gonna Dude, fucking get I, it. No, I would give him so much candy. I'm like the Halloween guy. I'll say that. I'm gonna give him a bottle of water. He's gonna get pissed at me. Do you think he would get pissed at apple, motherfuckers? <sighs> He'd get Didn't pissed we, at We just celery. talked about this. Dude, vegetables would be way fucking yeah, worse. Yeah. I give the, fruit. No I get fucking fruit. way. Who the fuck would no give vegetables out way. for Halloween? That is not a thing. No fucking way. Oh, yes, it is. Some I've people seen do. celery Shut sticks up. before. Celery sticks Awful. are the fucking worst. They are the You're going to you, hell. You, you, know, you know what you could totally get away with? Yeah. Do a little like ants on a log. Celery sticks and peanut butter and some See, chocolate chips. See, but that's chips. a that's a that's a snack that's, that's, that's not the Straight same, vegetables though, yeah. is crazy. Celery also like car- carrots are kind of sweet. Celery though. Now that I'm like twenty something, I, I I you know I'm not gonna turn down celery sticks. I am. That shit stinks. I would. I'm throwing old people on the streets. I'm fighting them. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm adult I'm, fucking trick-or-treating. I'm getting that celery. I'm killing you. I'm adult trick-or-treating. I'm, I'm not even trick-or-treating. This is just a home robbery. I'm breaking in. I'm prepping I'm prepping for fucking adult trick-or-treaters then this year. I'm only getting celery sticks. <laughs> if you if you look like you're maybe over the age of like 14, enjoy your celery sticks, dumbass. I'm going to fly yeah, to no, Ohio. Like, you know what? Fuck that. Fucking, that's how you do it. Anybody listening right now, you get a fucking, get some celery sticks. No, get the get a fucking celery stalk. Fuck them. <laughs> Make them waste space in their dumbass candy bag. Fucking give them an entire celery stalk. Fuck them. You get a whole bag of cut celery and rocks. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's like the oh, like coal of Halloween. Of a, celery is the coal of Halloween. Yeah. Oh, you, do you mean like instead of like instead of like like ants on a log it's just rocks no christmas if yeah. you're bad you, you get instead of no it, no, it is no, rocks fuck now because they're rocks. gonna bite into it instead they're gonna chip their fucking chocolate should have checked your yeah. candy dumbass check your candy you yeah. fuck you're check an your adult candy. you should have done it <laughs> you thought that was a three musketeer but that was a three gravel <laughs> you never know what freaks they're putting in there parentheses myself why are there so many scares about People want to give away their drugs into your children's I candy. I don't know, man. It's such a weird fear mongering. It's thing. just a, it's just one of those weird things. I think I think there was one instance where fentanyl was like put into candy and a child ate it. Um, and it might even That's just be insane. like an urban legend or something. It's an urban legend. Yeah, I know that the razor razor blade is absolutely an urban legend. Never happened. I think it's just something kids started uh, telling. Each other I mean, maybe it happened afterwards. Like, Dude, 40 years later, yeah. I'm scared that my kids are going to eat razor blades. I never saw any razor blades, but you never know. You would get scared. I, I wouldn't. I'd be no, like, I, fuck I wouldn't. It. I'm saying hypothetically if I was like 50-something you know and I had little kids going trick-or-treating. I think also like the floodgates really opened after the Tylenol poison scare. Because that did oh, actually happen. Yeah. And I think I think really honestly, um, tracking it back, because I've like looked this shit up before, like way back when, is I feel oh. like it, a lot of the a lot of the fear around like poisoned or, or or tricked candy um kind of grew from like the poison tylenol scare tricked candy i like that maybe the yeah. i've never i'm gonna be honest something. i've never never ever heard of any of this um oh the poison learning. tylenol yeah there was a real instance where i think it was somebody either at a pharmacy or a tylenol factory was literally poisoning tylenol that was going out to people oh it, was it the one that uh they were poisoning it with something that wouldn't where your blood wouldn't would like stop coagulating and then blood thinner yeah the blood thinners and then people would get injured the bleed blood out. would just keep bleed out yeah uh, no it was cyanide laced in chicago it was in uh, 1982. Seven people uh, took cyanide-laced Tylenol. That's insane. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking of something else because I remember hearing about like a blood thinner thing. It might be, that might be a fucking, like, that might be bullshit. I have no idea. No, the Tylenol thing actually happened. But I remember, oh no, that, that, um, that, yeah, but the blood thinner thing I'm talking about, I heard about it, but it's probably, it could be bullshit. What do you guys think about this movie? I love it. movie. Is it cool or is it art? Art. I would say art. I think it's art. Art. Yeah. This is going into my uh, my yearly October rotation of movies that I have to watch at some point. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your yearly? What's uh, your yearly? I, give at us? least once a year, I have to watch both the Scary Godmother movies and Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done both of those, but oh, we had a great Rocky. drinking game where we uh we have to drink when our picked scary godmother character does something that's literally me we make I, dimitri be the werewolf i can't ever do that with the skeleton I i'd be poisoned dimitri's gay i hate harry so much oh no that's the skeleton the, the skeleton, skeleton they're is, all is skelly. Skelly. That, name is skelly petty you hate harry the werewolf i harry, hate him fuck that guy you My hate God. you like harry the no, werewolf I hate, yeah i hate him wait no I'm i saying love harry the werewolf what he's literally dimitri He'll just go, that's not how it was in the comic book. And he's like, he just takes this fucking swig of Everclear. <laughs> I've I've seen that movie like in uh, I've talked to absurd him, you're right. number of times. <laughs> I always get to be Jimmy. You're, I don't, are you Jimmy? The fucked up thing was the one year when I watched it was when my spine was still really fucking bad. Oh, man. And there's where he, it's in Revenge of Jimmy where he's doing his prank and he goes, he falls down a tree and he goes, ha ha ha, ow, ha ha ha, ow. He's like falling, oh. he's laughing while limping away, yeah. yelling ow. It's like, that's literally me. Everybody turned around and pointed at you yeah, and were exact, forced. Yeah, exactly that You were happened. just stuck there. <laughs> oh no, he didn't fall out of a tree. He kicked, he kicked a bunch of pumpkins. Oh yeah, that was he kicked it. a yeah. bunch of pumpkins. Dude, I've got this movie memorized. 
I have a piece of paper within arm's reach that I can oh, grab yeah, this right is now. How that, we yeah, met. yeah, this is Billy yeah, only no, knows yeah. me because I watched Let's have, let's have some lore. Bunch. Let's have, let's put some Deep fucking lore. PSD lore. Yeah, the only reason why, well, that's not true because it's, it's a, a major bit. reason. It got your attention. It's a major reason, it, but but one of the reasons was because we would play Rainbow Six Siege together. But Occasionally, the reason is because there was one Halloween. Where ten would watch was it both? It was both movies. I would watch it once a yeah, day in ev- the VC, once a day in, in the October. VC server. In October, I, I, every single day. Me, he has a he has a piece have, of paper I have, I have marking near and dear to my heart. Daily is it marking scary godmother. Pa- is it marking the time as well? So one of them is marking every single time that I watched it. Um, the second one, which you're gonna hear me digging through a bunch of shit right here. Um, the second one is marking every single Dutch angle in the second movie. There's like 200. Oh, that's oh, right! God. <laughs> I forgot! That movie is filled with Dutch angles! That's right! Hold on. Ten, do you have any defense for the second movie stopping in its tracks to give a recipe for a microwave treat? Because it's fucking sick? Because it's what do you awesome. Mean? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I think, I think angle that... Counter. How many? I don't know, fucking lot. You're the one that fucking said I'm, you. I'm holding it up. I'm holding it up on a camera. Oh, wait. I'm not fucking looking at your camera. I don't know. Uh, do, you want, do you want me to oh, send shit. pictures of these? Oh, wow. Put I them in the fucking it. thing. Yeah, there it is. Wait, wait. Show, wait, show it. Show it again. Show it again. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, that's, like oh, my God. That's so many. Wait. One, two, three. Hold on. That's I'm trying to find the... Uh, that's 35. That's 35. It's not 35. Oh, it's more than that shit, actually. Should hold it that's up real lot, quick. Dude. Wait, yeah. No, what are you talking about? 35 times five. Sorry. Five row one. Five rows... That'd be Point seven times. That's seventy. That's oh my god! Uh, and then I had Holy this one, shit. and this was. Uh, I've watched the masterpiece of modern cinema, Scary Godmother, this many times, and the sequel, Scary Godmother: The Revenge of Jimmy, this many times in October 2018. Fucking hell! I had these, I had these hung up on my wall. And I, <laughs> I would, I would watch it, and I would scratch away at it. <laughs> oh, dude, how did you not go fucking crazy? Uh, I just memorized the movies. Wait, do you remember? Okay, wait, do you remember the entire recipe in the middle of the second movie? Um, you paint a little face on a marshmallow with a toothpick and chocolate sauce, so it looks like a little ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then you put him in the microwave for 30 seconds. And then he puffs up oh, big shit. and round, and then you crush him between graham huh. crackers and eat him. We had to get a big and round for Brendan. <sighs> oh, oh. Gotta get it. Gotta get one in. <laughs> it was a very convoluted s'mores recipe. The scary it Godmother was. has one of my favorite jokes in a movie ever. Uh, it's it? the part. It's the part when um the vampire, the count, he's mm-hmm. he's like trying to like be less weird, and she's like, oh, just start telling jokes. People love when you tell jokes. And, it cuts back to them at a random point during the movie, and you just hear the tail end of it. And it was just like, so other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the show? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty good. I love that joke. Uh, or there being a gay skeleton who lives in a closet whose job is being a professional skeleton in a closet. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. when he comes out of closet, it's pretty obvious. There's a sort of cabal like the Mythic Dawn who has a vengeance oath against Skelly. <laughs> What? There, you can look on YouTube, and there, there's our, there are cuts of Scary Godmother. They're like Scary Godmother without Skelly. <laughs> Great, more homophobia. No, it, I think it's the opposite. Actually, it's more, <laughs> it's more how dare, how dare Skelly make fun of us like this? Which I don't really. Yeah, there used really? to be. Really, yeah. I don't know about, I don't know about that. Three hundred thousand people have watched. Like, I was, this. I was making a joke, like. <laughs> but I, if people genuinely I don't think joke about the way? mythic Don Skelly, yeah, I could have seen Perilous at on accident. I but would never joke. Three hundred thousand people have watched. The, oh my god, the no Skelly cut. They're genuinely fucking cowards. I just want you to know that. Hey, uh, did you did you know that the guy who voices Skelly, Scott McNeil, is in uh, the second live action Scooby Doo movie? He is, yeah, that's right. I think, is, I think we he's the we, big we bad had guy, we talked he? about this. We talked about this like super recently. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, he's I like one of the big bad guys. He's credited as evil masked figure because he's like oh. voiced in a ton of shit. I think because I've heard his voice. Oh, before. he's in a ton of stuff. All right, there's your little addendum. Scary Godmother. Sam attacks the saw one. Yeah, there's your scary Godmother pondering as an extra little treat for being so good on Halloween. You've been really good. Here, have some candy. Here's a fucking mound. 
Here, here's some here's dots. some circus peanuts for you. Oh, you're a little bitch, huh? You fucking eat those circus peanuts, you fuck. I'm gonna put huh? a bunch of packing peanuts. In ASMR. A bag, How's this? How's this ASMR? We are <laughs> ASMR. You, you just knocked, knocked on our, our door. door. And we're all <laughs> drunk. <laughs> and we're all drunk. <laughs> How you get some fucking packing peanuts, you fuck? I was reading the description. The scary godmother. No Skelly video. Yeah, they they tried to. The wording is a little strange because it said, we hope we're moving this offensive homoerotic stereotype. Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure it called Skelly homoerotic. Oh, wait. The, the Neo-Scary Godmother guys? Yeah. These are the guys with the weird wiki that, like, makes uh, fucking Jimmy a Joe star. <laughs> what the fuck? Is <laughs> yeah, man. Vampire skunk interview go wrong. They have, like, a lot of bizarre videos beyond just the... 4K scary godmother. Oh, what is okay. this wiki? We Neo. need we need to talk, talk about, about Neo scary scary. Godmother Yeah, Neo. what the fuck is this wiki? Uh, this is a wiki that I I fell into a deep hole because <laughs> surprisingly watching yeah watching um watching scary godmother and scary godmother two the revenge of Jimmy thirty one to thirty two times in a month will just like lead you to just pull stuff up like this and be like yeah I mean this is making sense this is insane age twelve part one. 21 in part 2, 30 plus in parts 3 through 7. <laughs> Occupations, oh. asshole. Voice actors, Patrick Seitz for English and Erica Schroeder for four kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Neo... Yeah. I, that's why I know the Neo Scary Godmother guys, because they're subscribed to me. Yo, oh, I, I just know they uploaded the actual Scary Godmother like rips i would watch there's a drew carry there's a drew carry thing on the wiki and all it said all it says is drew carry is a fat fuck from cleveland ohio <laughs> he is from cleveland he had the cleveland what show. Are these articles scary godmother's old smelly grand what is godmother this fucking thing this is recently updated. No, you see, you you clearly didn't click around enough to see that there's a whole page that Drew Carey is on called the Cleveland Steamer Crew. Alf is also <laughs> in there. Mike Matei! Oh, Mike! Wait, hold on. LA Beast! Mike, Mike Matei is on Why does Mike fucking... Matei have an article on the new Scary Godmother wiki? Because he, he played a major role in the game The Fright Side 4 Oblivion. Mike Scare Horsecock uh Matei. Are you a scary nice. god, bro? A scary god, bro, is a term used to refer to members or allies of Neo Scary God. The credits reveal he went on to burn down the Lorax. And of course, the Lorax has an article. This is absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, this is this is a deep dive. Mercy, I beg thee, unplug me from my forsaken coil. Quote the Lorax upon meeting the hero of the fright side. <laughs> Mike Matei is one of Jimmy's seven Whoa. warlords. Yeah. The Neo Scary Godmother wiki is uh it's, Gangster it's so Sponge crazy Bob. this dude has the most viewed like scary godmother rips. I have used his on multiple Octobers. Same. Yeah, this is where that's I what go I was going to say. <laughs> There's this insane wiki title. Yeah, but you, you never went to the wiki to see what it was really about. Man, that's fantastic. <laughs> I, I love the Neo Scary uh, This is insane. Fucking great. Brendan, I hope you get an article on the Scary Godmother wiki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it a fucking uh, JoJo party. He has a video called Playing PS2 Games on My Nintendo Switch Lite, and it's just him eating turkey and then. On on his bed. It's fucking great. Link that one. I'll watch that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He's just eating like a turkey leg, and then he starts fucking signing into YouTube. <laughs> this is great. What the fuck? Oh, and then he's playing a let's play on his. I did. I didn't uh, think YouTube. this is where things would go. I'm I'm so happy that you guys are getting. Uh, Neo Scary Godmother Wiki pilled right now. Okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> black licorice. I, I hate black, black licorice. licorice. Oh, what does he say again? What well, he says, I hate black licorice, and he gives you a scary face and the door slams shut. No, that's not what he says. What? You want me to see the Nickelodeon one? I'm not uh, doing it. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking that is of a Nickelodeon. I'm game. thinking of the Nickelodeon bit. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. That, that was Cartoon Network. Yeah. Second worst thing to air on TV in 2001. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'm done. Boo! Thanks so much for listening. This episode would not have been possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Art of Ogden, Bure, Bland But Funny, Boo Pulu, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, 
Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loud and Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snacksalotl, Winnie Rab, Will 9455. Thanks so much for listening, and we hope you have a spooky Halloween.